friends welcome to my channel my name is Polly and this is the sewing edit where we talk all about sewing and styling a handmade wardrobe welcome it's been a while I know I'm really sorry I have been overwhelmed with the amount of work I have to do at my new job and also with the responsibilities around Christmas preparations and celebrations at school for the children so I simply haven't had any chance to sew or to record a video for you. I, I know I owe you a video for my leather trousers, the Vera bottoms, which are actually I'm wearing today. Actually, I'm all handmade today. I'm just going to pop a quick video here and show you what I'm wearing, but this is a simplicity top. I have my Vera leather bottoms that I really enjoy. They're extremely comfortable. And I also have made this lovely, um, headband so if you're interested to know how to make this leather headband do let me know in the comments below I'm more than happy to share with you I used to have a business uh, where I was making um, headbands so I have all kind of different um, designs that I I like to wear especially in the winter time I do like to wear them so I decided I don't really have a proper um, hairstyle right now so uh, this really helps me style a little bit my my hair um, and uh, yeah uh, so today I thought I will come to you and um, quickly share with you a fabric haul a small fabric haul that I actually uh, did uh, last week and I haven't actually opened it it's still in the package I've been really good um, so I want to open it with you here and show you what I bought. Basically last week I had a big, big um, deadline at work and I was very tired, very overworked one night and I just was sitting and browsing uh, through some of my favorite uh, online shops and um, I saw... Um, I saw the owner of um, the sewing loft. Uh, this is a fabric sh shop I spoke about in one of my videos where I usually buy fabric online. It's a Belgium uh, fabric shop that I love. And I saw Maggie, the owner, she has made a beautiful sweater um, from the latest fiber mood uh, edition. I think it's called Didi. I have it here and I saw her, um, she made it in a, animal print uh, fabric, like a um, sweater knit, but it was so pretty. And I just saw the picture, I was like, I want copy and paste of that. And I immediately contacted her and told her I want that. And I said, just please tell me what kind of uh, uh, haberdashery I need to get because you need to have a zipper. I'll show you quickly the um, the design. It's, it's, it's uh, one of the, f the latest um, patterns from, uh, which edition is that? Fiber Mood number 17. I quite like this edition actually of Fiber Mood. Um, I usually, I don't have a subscription. I go when I like uh, what they have in, uh, in the edition, then I go and buy it myself. It's available everywhere here. And I, I think this is one of their strongest editions and I love a lot of um, the designs here, but my favorite has to be the DD sweater. Um, I'll show you quickly the line drawing of this pattern. I want to make the, the long sleeve version, but to be honest, I wouldn't mind having the sleeveless version as well. I think it's great. It has a metal zipper. So I just contact, contacted um, Maggie from uh, the sewing loft and I said, just please organize it that I have all the, all the, all the necessary tools and I want to make it. And um, she did, she's amazing. I could not ha recommend highly enough her, her services. So uh, she has prepared everything. And then when you're on, on this website, you just end up buying more and more things. And this is what I did. So let me show you what I bought. I'll open it here with you. So here is the package. I haven't, I haven't really been able, well, I, I wanted to hold it on and, and open it with you so you can see what's inside. I thought a little unboxing would be something I've never done. So I thought, hmm, why not? So here it is.
lovely packaging as always. So very exciting. So where do we start? Where do we start? I have to say uh, that I had a lovely, lovely, I don't know if you can hear me. Uh, I had a lovely voucher for my birthday for um, the Sewing Loft um, online shop. And that was uh, uh, very nicely uh, gifted to me by Kristen by um, the Dahlia Society. So Kristen, this is kind of a part of your uh, birthday present for me, so thank you very much. I managed to use it, I'm really happy. So here it is, ta -dum, ta dum Oh, I think I started with a little presents because I don't think I have ordered that, but this is really nice. Um, this is board stuff. I forgot what's the, the cuffing when you make cuffs. Um, a lovely, lovely, a lovely quality. I don't know if you can see it. I, I really like it. Oh, I didn't expect that, but that's really, really nice. Thank you, Maggie. Dear Polina, best bedankt for bestelling. Oh, that's uh, that's in Dutch. Um, what the hell? I wouldn't bother you with my uh, pronunciation in Dutch because it's not great, but lovely card. Thank you. And... Oh, I got the zippers. I got the zipper. Oh, I got one zipper, I think. Oh yeah, well, I guess I need to, um, I need to prepare it. So this is the zipper. I'm planning to do two, um, two sweaters. Do I have anything else? Oh yes, of course I do. This is the metal part of the zipper and some stoppers for zippers as well. So that's, uh, that's quite useful. Good. And then I got, I'm starting with this fabric. I saw it on the website. This is um, lovely viscose. Oh, beautiful. I see it for the first, now, first time. So this uh, fabric, um, I wanted like a very colorful ditzy print um, um, fabric and it's not very thin which is quite nice so i want to make out of this a very simple a-line um skirt um nothing special i just want the the focus to be on the beautiful um the beautiful print and this is why i chose that because uh, i want to have like a midi length skirt which i can combine with uh, uh, knitted uh, sweaters or um, a tight like more tight fitted uh, polo like this one and i love the colors in it it has black and orange and this um, um how would i mean it has a little bit of uh, um, olive uh, olive green which is beautiful I love the colors oh I love that fabric I wasn't sure how it's going to turn out but I'm really happy with it so that's the first uh, fabric that I got I still haven't decided on a pattern but I think I would like something really simple I saw some uh, lovely uh, pattern in Burda magazine I think it was from last year again a-line skirt with uh, darts on the front and on the back without a waist a waistband and just um, midi length, uh, uh, lo slightly loose fitted uh, skirt. And um, yeah, I just want something simple and elegant. I think I might try to do it because I looked at the design and I, I think I would like to have it like a bias cut one because it falls very beautifully. So this is what I will do with this fabric that I showed first. The second fabric, oh, it's beautiful. This is a sweater knit that I ordered from... Uh, from the from the shop and with this i want to make this sweater that i showed you wow it's beautiful quality i'll tell you what it is called i have my computer right next here this is called creamy comfy angora tricot it's um 18 euros per meter, 45% uh, viscose, 39 polyester and 90 polymate. It's a beautiful quality. It's very beautiful texture. Oh, I love it. Look at this. Can you see it? Oh, so pretty. So pretty. I will make the Didi sweater from it. Um, the one from the fiber mood. Basically, I want to make two of the same sweaters in two different um, 
fabrics this is the first one i love it i think it's great i don't know i don't remember anymore how much uh, i ordered but uh, this is uh, what it's going to be turned into uh, one of these sweaters because i'm sure i'll i'll get a lot of wear out of it and this is the fabric the next one why i ordered everything because this is it you know me i have a thing for um animal print and I had to have it and I love it it's a little bit um, thick but it, that's great because I can imagine you know making this sweater and taking it with me on a on a ski vacation what's the name of it again let me see let me see it's snowy teddy leopard boucle it's a hundred percent actually uh, it is polyester but it is quite a nice weight and oh i cannot wait when i saw this fabric i was like just i want it that's it and this is this is my little um fabric hole that i uh, did uh, from the sewing loft i hope you enjoyed seeing that um I love uh, shopping there and I will put links to uh, the fabrics that I uh, just uh, purchased uh, down below so you can have a look uh, at them uh, and maybe you can browse through the lovely online shop of uh, Maggie. But Maggie, thank you very much. It's, uh, it's really beautiful. I can't wait to sit down and really um, uh, uh, sew these uh, sweaters, sweater knits. I, um, I think I will get a lot of wear out of them and probably this will be my comfort sewing in the next week or so because um, I will be finishing work end of um, middle next week hopefully and then I'll have some time for myself to uh, really uh, enjoy sewing something. And with this, I um, will wrap up my fabric haul uh, for today with you. I hope you enjoy it. I am planning to uh, record a video for my Vera Bottoms, a review of the pattern plus some styling. And I also want to share with you a few tips on uh, working with faux leather that I kind of uh, solidified throughout my uh, experience last month because then that's when I um, sewed my Vera Bottoms from uh, faux leather. So this is coming up on the channel hopefully very soon uh, but in the meantime i wanted to wish all of you some peaceful time uh, around christmas um, i hope i will be able to publish something uh, next week before christmas but if i don't um, please have a wonderful time uh, with your loved ones or on your own wherever you are just stay safe uh, enjoy this special moment um, I know it's not the Christmas that or the holiday time that everybody would have loved to have, but uh, for now, just try to make the most out of it. Probably we'll have a little bit more time than to uh, to sew if we can't travel and be with our loved ones. So take advantage of of uh, this opportunity to spend time with uh, with your sewing machine. And uh, I hope to see you next time. Uh, until then, uh, stay safe and thank you for being with me. Bye.